10 days out from my first final exam of medical school. If I fail, there will be severe consequences. Good morning guys, how are we feeling today? Surprisingly, I'm actually feeling pretty, pretty, pretty good. I am 10 days out and I actually feel probably the calmest I've ever felt in any exam season ever. Now you may notice that I am not at home. I'm in Leftborough, but I am gonna be doing a little bit of studying behind enemy lines. And then I'm gonna go back to Chelmsford tomorrow. And maybe then it'll hit me a little bit more that these are some very, very, very important exams. And if I fail, there will be severe consequences, but we're not gonna speak that into action. Anyway, also today I will be getting some exam results. So if I fail, that will make for some quite entertaining in viewing as well. What else do I have to tell you? My wisdom teeth are coming through and it hurts like a Right, I'm gonna... So me and Dylan are gonna make a little bit of breakfast and then Dylan is gonna go into the lab. Now I'm saying the lab as if I know what that means, but Dylan's gonna go into uni. Good morning, good morning. Tommy Fury had a reality TV show. Because that's what we could watch now with breakfast. Oh. It's annoyed. What are you really about? I just want a little bit more Molly Mane Tommy Fury content now. After. <laughs> So technically I am allowed in the left for library. However, there was a little period where I just, do you know, I feel like I get a lot of anxiety. So basically when I go up there, I have to say like, oh, can you please let me in? And then sometimes they ask for my, um, my student ID. Sometimes they're fine, sometimes they're cool, sometimes they don't. But I think I feel like I'm living out the mean girl's girl who's like, she doesn't even go here. She doesn't even go here. Behind enemy lines. It's a nice library. guys i thought i was gonna get my exam results yesterday oh i haven't taken my medication i thought i was gonna get my exam results yesterday i did not i am due to get them at 10 o'clock today it's now 9 51 that is my last medication so i'm gonna have to go home rafi has been complaining that i have abandoned him during exam season but rafi 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 doesn't get to complain because i'm gonna spend eight weeks with him in south america so rafi is not in a position to complain about my absence that being said i am gonna go home shortly i'm gonna open my exam results have a shower and then hit the road back to good old chelmsford back to reality Look. Sorry for the lack of vlogging yesterday evening as well, guys. There was actually a, a biological weapon in the kitchen. We had fish and chips on Sunday night and then one of Dylan's housemates just suggested that we reheat the chips by like frying them. So we did and we did like salt and pepper chips, put chilli in the pan. When I tell you this chilli, it's chilli. I, I, I thought that I was going to suffocate. I had to come in this room and I was still suffering the consequences of frying this chili. But the chips were good, and they were actually a decent way of reheating chips. Right, come on, seven minutes. I think I might do some editing whilst I wait. It's 10 o'clock. Okay, righty hi, let's go. Have I passed, have I passed? Have I passed my prescribing exam? What do you reckon, Dale? Um, yeah. That's not up. It's not up. Right, well, I got a YouTube video I made about cramming for an exam. Because yeah. obviously I crammed for that exam. But I'm not going to release it until I know I've passed. I'd be tempting fate, won't I? Flat Diet Coke at 10 o'clock in the morning. Woo! <laughs> Ooh. Home sweet home and shock, I need a wee.
gonna go down on Instagram. He's gonna give me so much abuse for abandoning him during exam season and go and see me a little. I'm actually a little bit scared. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried about how much abuse Rafi's gonna give me. <laughs> There's a tool from Atomic Habits that resonated with me so much because I've been unintentionally, unintentionally implementing it through medical school. It's the tool of creating a ritual around a habit that you want to form. The ritual is supposed to be simple but effective in catalyzing a chain of events that lead up to a habit you have previously found difficult to implement. Every morning during exam season I write a plan but I don't just write it out. Oh no! Everything is done in a specific order. First, I write the date, then I write the starting time out in half an hour intervals, then the end time, then divvy up my day, colour coded by activity. Is there any intellectual benefit to my daily planning? Probably not. Is there psychological benefit in the simple ritual that has served as a signal to my brain for the past five years that it's time to get my ass in gear? Absolutely. Right, guys, it is six o'clock. Home sweet home. I look like I've been puked on. I got my matcha this morning and the woman who gave me the matcha had this big old smile on her face. I feel like that's very rare. I was thinking, why Why have you woken up on the best side of the bed this bright and early? But I did really appreciate it and then went upstairs and then proceeded to spill the rest of the matcha on me. I've chosen one of the most stressful, stressful times of year to go, oh, do you know what? Let's kickstart that healthy exercise habit. You know how the gym just doesn't exist unless I'm at Dylan's or Dylan's here. Well, he's back and not even for a leg day, a push day. Pull day. A, a, a pull <laughs> day. I can't believe it. Look at that, pure gym. Well, oh no, it's not gonna focus. Sophia, I've got the, I can do the flavored water. Another grave mistake I've made over the years, seeing exercise as detrimental to my studies rather than complementary. Exercise helps us all focus, but it may have even more benefits if you are an ADHDer or even a question mark ADHDer. Well done. Yeah. Oh, lovely and sweaty. Another mistake, neglecting rest. Love Island this year has forced me to take an hour out every evening for myself, even if occasionally it has been almost as dead and dry as studying. feeling great i think it was actually exercising last night i probably did it very happy with that i don't think i said but basically you know how i thought i was getting my exam results on monday nope turns out i'm getting them today and we get them at two o'clock today and i was kind of thinking right i'm gonna be in the library do i really want to open these results in front of everyone else and then i text raffi and i say what's your POA, what's, what's going on, what's the 411, what's the happening? And he says to me, he says, um, oh Faye, I'm gonna go to Cakebox and I'm gonna get a PSA cake. A PSA is the exam that we start. So now I'm thinking, Rafi, this is a bit presumptive, you know? Like, some of us may not have passed any circle. But then now I'm thinking, oh, he's got a cake. Or maybe I do, that's peer pressure to open them with everyone. But also, like, I'm not gonna just go outside and open them, because I'm still gonna be in the library and I'm still gonna come back and... <laughs> my protein shake, Ooh. my protein Ooh. coffee. Yeah, Love that. I was just telling the vlog about how you're um, getting a cake. <laughs> yeah, that says PSA, but do I have to get PSA with it crossed out? Or just PSA? Crossed out, I think would be fun. Ah! Yeah. Well, you're just gonna have to hope we all pass. I mean, fingers crossed. Don't cross two. Regardless, it's done. The first attempt is done. <laughs> 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 
Today. I can't believe I wasn't filming. Me and Raffi. Oh, my dad's calling me. Oh. Uh, me and Daffy. Me and Daffy. <laughs> <laughs> me and Raffi just did a rendition of Taylor Swift. That let me tell you, that would have, that could have made babies. I was gonna say babies cry. Babies stop crying. <laughs> oh right, I'm gonna call my dad. Dad, what are you doing now? I'm busy. Come on, it's exam season. Oh no, 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 no! I missed his call. Oh my god, no, I don't. Hello. How are you today? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, it's not Normally on the days leading up to my exam, I split my days between practice questions similar to those in my exam and flashcards. The perfect balance between simple and complex applied active recall. Everyone's passed, everyone's passed. Everyone's passed. Everyone's passed. Everyone's passed. Everyone's passed. Did you look at the top one? Shortly after the high of passing my prescribing exam, I came quickly crashing down to earth when I realized my mark was not reflective of how my performance would be in the finals that do not just test one area of medicine like the prescribing exam. Oh no, it would be a two, two hour exam testing me on everything I have learned over the past five years. Yes, every deep forgotten crevice of my cerebellum. Guys, this is what happens when I'm leaving in two weeks and I have so much food to use up. Well, let me tell you what this little concoction is. So, I kind of went through like a little bit of a jackfruit phase and I have so many tins of jackfruit that I, I had my phase and then that phase ended quickly, but I still have all the tins. But I thought I'd do kind of like a barbecue-y, jackfruit, chickpea, tomato-y thing. It's supposed to be giving pulled pork vibes. I think it's giving more like pork gruel, pig gruel, pig feed, that's what I'm trying to say. However, I think it should be okay. Yeah, I haven't actually tried it as well. I'm a little bit concerned it's not going to taste that great. However, enough salt normally makes things a little bit nicer. Do some pepper. Okay, this is going to be so, so, so rogue. I think I'm going to have it with garlic bread. There's a loaf of garlic bread that we use using up. And do you want to know what they are? Gherkins. Gherkins. Dinner of champions, guys. Champions. Sorry, guys. I have my teeth whitening. Molds? Molds? Molds in. If I have a little bit of a lisp. The last exam season, you may or may not remember, I actually had my first ever panic attack. Um, and at the time, I didn't realise it was a panic attack. I just thought I was like going dizzy and not being able to control my breathing. It was only when I explained it the next day that someone suggested to me that, yes, that was probably a panic attack due to stress. And I think when I get stressed, a lot of the time it's not like glaringly obvious. Like it, it's in my body, it's not in my mind. As in like I feel it in like my appetite, I feel it in getting to sleep at night, but I'm not necessarily 
consciously aware of how stressed I am. But my friend Katie took a calms yesterday and she said, I went to the pharmacy across the road from the library. Let me tell you, I got a whole host of goodies. So I went a little bit overboard and I got a little calms day. And then I also got some night ones, calms night. You're supposed to take four, 30, 60 minutes before bedtime. So obviously I'm a bit late doing that, but I'll take them now and I'll let you know how I feel in the morning. They smell a bit funny. I don't know why I smell them. Four seems a bit excessive. Like why not just make the capsules bigger? Another mistake I've made every year, neglecting self-care. Am I dehydrated? Absolutely. Have I eaten a fresh vegetable in the past three days? Probably not. Do I remember the last time I got eight hours sleep? That's a silly question. I may look like an idiot bringing three drinks to the library, but it is my small effort towards taking care of my body. So in return, it can prevent my brain from spontaneously combusting under the pressure. Okay, so let me just get the bins. I woke up this morning and I thought I was about to myself. I woke up probably about an hour earlier than I have been waking up. Like, oh my God, I was thinking, I'm gonna poo myself. I'm literally gonna poo right here, right now in this bed. So I get up, get out my nice warm cozy bed because I was like, this is a risk I'm really not willing to take. I go to the toilet. Do I sh myself? No, I don't sh Myself. I've started my period oh, no. yeah, and oh my god the cramps are horrendous the cramps are horrific so that's just great news however I am very happy because I was a little bit worried it was taking a sweet 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 time but then I'm like well now I'm gonna be off for our exam because our exam is next Thursday today is Friday time yeah again. so I'm not gonna be stuck in an exam room for two hours worrying that I'm perioding all over the seats <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that was a like, great little dramatic yeah, moment. Dramatic, huh? And then, coming in, carrying my three drinks. What else, what else is there? I don't know what else there is to say. I think I might go to the pharmacy. Yeah. Because they've got like these little heat patches. And I'm like, do you know what? I just cannot concentrate when. I feel cramped. Yeah, the crampings oh. or cramps. Okay. Cramps in. Fingers. Days away from our exam, and you're. You're training for the cards. You're not training for your finals. It's like who it is. Back again. Three days later, and we got banana trees. Dylan got chicken prawn noodles. I got vegan massa man, and then we got some prawns. Tell you what's ruining the vlog aesthetic. Dylan's plastic water bottle. His plastic water bottle. Oh, shut up. Yeah, every morning, Dylan. I got life's aesthetic. Me opening the blinds video. What's this? Oi, give it a rest. There's nothing wrong with a plastic water bottle. I'm reusing it. Around. Good morning, guys. Good morning. <laughs> Excuse my snotty tissue guys, but whilst sat at the library, I actually palpated a lymph node on the back of my neck. Was this A, my body trying to help me prepare for my practical exams? B, a sign that I would be violently ill for the day of my exam? Or C, the result of treating my body like a machine rather than a living, breathing organism? Guys, my dinner's going cold because I'm about to book my elective flights. Ah! Straight in the rep there, Dale. Book now. Oh, yeah, Mexico. 
I'll just get learning my Spanish. Maybe we should put on a little Spanish series to payment is being processed. Can they watch Narcos Mexico? Ooh. For a bit of reference, in UK medical schools, it's common to allocate a few weeks where you go on placement to a place of your choosing, and this can be abroad. Our elective begins on April the 17th and is the last eight weeks of our degree before we graduate. Ah! What a nice way to celebrate not passing my exams yet. If I failed, the reset is a during elective, so it's a bit <laughs> pre premature. So I'm about to do a little bit of video editing in front of the telly and I'm gonna stick, oh my god, my dry lip. I'm gonna stick 24 hours in A&E on the telly. And I wanted to tell you a little story about 24 hours in A&E. So <coughs> I used to love 24 hours in A&E and then I missed out on my grades for medical school. And for a very long period of time when I really didn't think that I was gonna get into medical school, I couldn't watch any medical programs whatsoever. 24 hours in A&E was out the window because I just think they, it made me really, really, really sad because obviously at that point where I really, where I knew I really, really wanted to do medicine and then like I think it just like hurt a little bit too much to watch medical programs. So whenever I put 24 hours in A&E on now, it just warms my heart a little bit because suck that, it doesn't warm my heart, it just, it does a little bit more than that. I feel like it, maybe it warmed my heart in like first year. I feel like now it's, what's the right word? Very, it can be pretty emotional because yeah, this time five years ago, I think I had four rejections for medical school. Who'd have thought it? Not me. For the past two exam seasons, I haven't been editing my own YouTube videos so that I can study. However, recently I made the decision to edit my own videos again. I love editing and as someone who has never been creative and struggles to draw a stick man, it's the only time I get to be creative and not to blow my own trumpet, I don't think I'm all that bad. Balancing YouTube this year has been hard, but it's been refreshing allocating time to myself to do something that I love. done up to the nines it's because dylan was just taking some thumbnail pictures for me and when i say some thumbnail pictures for me i mean probably the best thumbnail pictures that anyone has ever taken for me let's check this i'm gonna stop paying, gonna stop paying you the cheek of it coffee just like this one two three lukewarm coffee Coffee squash. Coffee squash. Coffee squash. Do you have squash in that? No, Dill, I don't. I mean, because it's marinate, like mixed with water. honesty I actually really struggle to vlog during exam season. I know it seems so simple to just click record but I get so tired and feel like my mind is consumed exclusively by medicine. Every time I speak it's boring and the study vlogs end up being devoid of any personality. I actually didn't even have the energy to close off this vlog and I'm very sorry for that but to make it up to you guys I did decide to carry on vlogging the actual week of my exams. I'm sorry if this vlog wasn't as exciting as normal, but if you did enjoy, please leave a book emoji in the comments and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Love you lots and lots and lots and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.